All right, guys, you know how much I love 90-degree flashlights. I got another one. Man, I, I just really find these 90-degree right-angle flashlights to be the most useful thing going on the market right now as far as everyday carry. And so I set these down here, and what we have is the Manker EO2, which is a new light from Manker entering into the right-angle light market. You have the H1 Nova, the... Uh, Skill Hunt, what is that, the H2? I can't remember. The new Olight, which apparently can start fires, amazingly. Uh, yeah, there's a video out there. Some guy actually started a fire just using the beam of this. And the WowTac, which is uh, another great budget option as well. Um, so what you're looking at is $20 light, $20 light, like $25 light, $80 light, $50 light. So, um... Also, real quick, AAA CR123 18650s. So let's get them out of the way now that you've had a chance to look at all those bad boys. So, quick size comparison. All right, so this Manker is very similar to the others in that it's a 90 degree light with a pocket clip. It does not have the option to be a headlamp, though, which is, you know, fine because it is just a little tiny AAA light. It comes in a small. little cardboard box with a little plastic insert. Instructions, which are bigger than the damn light. <laughs> and a uh, little lanyard and o-ring. Um, yeah, so let's unload this mammoth uh, set of instructions. It's in multiple languages, of course. And find the English versions. Alright, so we'll look at the numbers here. We'll show you this real quick. Uh, what you got is a choice between an XPG3 and a Nichia 219C. Uh, big difference, the XPG3 is going to throw a little bit better. The Nichia 219C is going to have a little better and a little nicer uh, tint to it, your output, um, your voltage, so you can't use the uh, lithium rechargeables uh, 10 440s there. Uh, IPX8 waterproof, and guess what, guys? I washed it. It accidentally went through the washer, and it's fine. So I can definitely 100% attest to the uh, to the magnetism there. Here are your modes, and of course, this uh, like I said, this uh, instructions were too big for the container, so they really came kind of like mangled. You can see it has a. Uh, Little half lumen moonlight, 16 lumen, 70 lumen, and your turbo is uh, 270. And uh, it does step down, of course, after three minutes back down to 70. So there is your info on that. So we'll get that aside. How does this work? Well, we'll show you a quick picture of the uh, flow chart. That way, if future generations are trying to decode this thing, they can check out my video and they'll know how that works. You can go back and pause that, of course, if uh, you need to know how this works. All right. So from off, a single press brings you to moonlight. As you know, that's a little half lumen mode, so it is very dim. Long press turns it off again. Long press from on brings you to memory mode, which is your last memorized mode which is cool, so you do have a choice between the two. Likewise, it's off, double click brings you to turbo, another click brings you to strobe, another clip to uh, beacon, and then there's that uh, funky beacon for the last one, and then it goes back into moonlight, and then a single click will cycle through your different modes, which are three, and then double click brings you back to your turbo long press for off. There is also a uh, um, a lockout, but I do have to warn you, it's very difficult to unlock this. You do it by pressing the button one time, then two times, then three times. Now, the weird thing is it's trying to, un it seems like it locks very easy, but the unlock takes just a really like unusual cadence to get it right. So it did take me actually quite a few tries to get it unlocked. And I kind of said like, ugh, I'm not messing with that again. 
Uh, pocket clip is reversible. Magnet in the tail cap, awesome. So it gives you that capability to use this thing as a work light. The uh, switch at top is a little bit proud, but really, you know, the odds of turning this on accidentally are pretty much, you know, you really got to, you saw how hard that, that left an indent. I had to uh, turn it on so hard. Kind of nice, you know, the glass is uh, not really anti-reflective, but you got a little stainless steel bezel, orange peel reflector. Let's open this bad boy up so you can take a look inside. Nice, smooth threads. You can see this is all factory. I didn't mess with this. Very well lubricated, nice O-ring, not mangled at all. Nice quality, thick spring in there. And you have a brass button on the top. This of course works with nickel metal hydrides or alkalines. Your uh, performance is gonna suffer dramatically with uh, alkalines, so I recommend not using them. Nice cooling fins along the back. You can see there is a, a little bit of uh, anodizing that came off in the washer. Um, I had this, that's the thing is guys, this is very lightweight, very small. I had this in my shirt pocket, took my shirt off, bam, you know, that was that. It uh, ended up in the washer and I didn't even realize, so I hung my shirt up that uh, <laughs> that had been in there. So it uh, very versatile, like the other 93 lights, it makes a very good shirt pocket light from the uh, upper clip. You know, you can put it in your shirt pocket, it hangs out just that little bit. You can attach it to the collar of your shirt. It also works very well on the brim of a cap or putting it into the side of your cap, kind of by your ear. Um, you can hook it on the belt loops, the front of your pocket. Very good light for when you're walking around. You need a good hands-free option. Add into that your magnetic base. and It is a very strong magnet for such a little light. Of course, my tape measures. Yeah, definitely enough to hold it. You know, it will come off, but you know, you really kind of got to wiggle, but definitely enough for for ordinary work. So nice run times, nice power out of this thing, versatile, 90 degree lights are just fabulous. Um, you know, the pocket clip is a little pain in the necky because you can get into that front position but it's very difficult to get in and out of your pocket clip's got a good amount of retention to it but in the reverse that kind of goofy so you don't want to do that but yeah that goes in a shirt pocket very well with just that little end sticking out so very happy with that um so yeah my only complaints about the light is that it doesn't take the lithium ion rechargeables and that the anodizing is a little on the weak side, but you know, considering that it went through a washer, I will forgive it. Um, yeah, I mean, not bad for, for what it went through. Um, you know, but anytime you have usually the colored anodization, they tend not to be the strongest on earth. I like the button, I like the features, you know, you got the threaded um, tail cap. So if you don't want to use that lockout, oops. You can always just back the uh, tail cap off the tiniest bit because it does have such nice threads that just uh, will lock that light out perfectly and it won't make it loose at all. So overall, guys, very good quality for the money. Very unique light. It's the only AAA right angle light I know of. And at 20 bucks, I think it's a great buy. It's a great EDC light. Um, this is something that will definitely see a significant amount of pocket time. With me, this is definitely something I would take camping, backpacking, you know, a lot of uses out of these 90-degree lights, plus the capability of um, using the uh, AAA rechargeables. Now, when it comes to it, you say, okay, that's great. Bear in mind, 700 milliamp hours, 1,000 milliamp hours, you actually have more juice out of this however you're not going to reach those high currents and get the big outputs that you can with a cr123 so a little better a little easier to charge you know if you do have just standard nickel metal hydride chargers all that jazz great light great price everything about it except for a couple little tiny things definitely a good investment hope you guys enjoyed